I'm gonna learn how to make some vegan watermelon sushi with yellow mustard on my mom, I got Turn you. Turn your stove clockwise to medium well, you feel me? Now it's time to start cooking with Shah Duran. Even though Sushi was extra fancy, he only hung with the premium grade, you feel me? He always double checked his work, very meticulous, you feel me? A cup should equal a cup, why this ain't had enough? Sushi was bougie, but he was a loner. Knew a lot of people, but didn't hang around many. Sushi had a best friend, she was a wizard. She made her little magical wand make everything disappear. Nah, that's big cap. Sussy didn't have friends. He was a very, very lonely individual. Along with the designer clothes Sussy had, he had a lot of skeletons in his closet as well. He ate the seeds of the watermelon, something frowned upon in his community. Sussy, that's suspect. Every avocado he ever laid eyes on, he tried to finesse out the skins. Sussy, I thought you was different. You said you was gonna love me, not lust me. Sushi had that paper. He had that nori, you feel me? You ready for me, baby? He was used to throwing money around getting his way. I'll take three scoopities of the Camus. Full body. Special select. Empty inside, he felt. Very alienated. No matter how much avocados the ladies threw at him, and no matter how sweet he tried to act, he couldn't muster the fact that he was different. And people don't like different. The only dirt on Sushi's name was his roll-up game wasn't the best. Sushi cut herself to fit in, only to still stand out. No one accepted him. He was very foreign and different. He began to only hang with himself and realized that Sushi's true expression of itself is originality. Coconut aminos. Splishity splish. You feel me? Just because I'm alien, you attack me. Don't let your ignorance stop you from experiencing some of the best stuff in the world. You feel me?